Well, uh, continuing our studies in Numbers, Numbers chapter 2, and we're looking again at this layout of the camp. And this is something I love to do. Get a piece of paper uh, uh, and to, to have a look at how this works. So at the centre of the piece of paper, you just do something to indicate the tent of meeting, the tabernacle that was at the very centre of this ancient church camp. And then work your way through Numbers chapter 2 and see how it works. So starting... Uh, it starts with the furthest out to the east, where Judah was, and that's the that's the that's the grouping of three tribes that belong to Judah. And Judah's out towards the east. Then it comes into Issachar, and then Zebulun nearest into the tent of meeting, and there's 186,000 of them. Then to the south, there's uh, Gad is furthest to the south. Then Simeon, then Reuben. And you could draw that on your paper. There's a hundred, like 150,000 of them. Then the tabernacle in the middle. Then going out to the west, you have Ephraim, furthest out to the west. Then Manasseh. And then little Benjamin near to the centre. And there's like a hundred and... Uh, like 110,000, something like that of them. And then going up to the north, the furthest to the north, it's Dan. Then Asher then Naphtali in towards the centre by the tabernacle. And there's like uh, 150 odd thousand of them. So if you draw that, you can see you've got a sort of cross formation there. And that's interesting straight away, because if the Moabites or the Edomites or the Philistines are looking down at that camp formation, they'd go, what a, what a strange formation. But one of the things that always sort of gives me a shiver, because uh, it, it's so strange when you, this is like beyond strange, when you think this was, a, this was written, this is the camp of Israel, the ancient church, 1,500 years before Jesus was born. But if you, if you notice, I've, I've got all the numbers sort of set out on my paper here. But... Um, so going out to the east, there's a ver there's a long arm that's 186,000 people in that. So proportionately, 186. Then the north and the south arms are both around 150,000. 180,000 people, 150, 150. And then this one is a bit shorter, 110. So that, don't you find that weird? You've literally, if you just draw it out proportionately, you end up with a kind of classic cross with a shorter arm, a longer arm, and two that are the same length. Literally that. That's literally, if all you have to do is draw it out according to the proportions in Numbers chapter 2. That's a weird thing. It's no sort of thing that the ancient church, the medieval church, just took in their stride. And they draw, you know, they paint icons and pictures of these sort of things and glory in it. The idea that even that ancient church in numbers has this deep symbolic character to it. That that cross of Christ is kind of present in the very layout of the way they camped as they lived for 40 years 